Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yo. There it is. There it is. You guys can hear me now. Hello? Hello. All right, fuck this. Fuck that too. That didn't help. Then freaking Windows started updating other shit that I don't need. So I hope closing this stops that as well. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I already had a bunch of tabs open trying to fix the problem, you know. And... Wait, I think it's too loud. Okay, is that better? Or is that even better? Don't do, don't do. Yo, I wasn't even gonna update my freaking Windows because every time, every time you update something, it just messes everything up. But I, I was trying to snooze the update, but then by accident I clicked update, and then it took like two hours to update. And then apparently it gave me more problems here too. But I, I think we're over them, right? Everyone can hear me, yeah. Alright guys, yeah, can somebody tell me that they can hear me? That's why you went back to good old Windows 7, yo I feel that, although, I mean Windows, yeah Windows 7 was good. Alright, now people can hear me. That is delicious. Yeah, okay. Now we can start. Yo. Hello everyone, what up? As you guys might be able to tell by the whole situation, I am now a judge. So, I will be playing all the levels. I'm probably just gonna do them in order. I think that's just gonna be easier. And you know, that way people will know when, I play, when I'm gonna play their levels. So you know we got we got we can jump straight into one of them one five 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 nine nine which is the first one. Okay. How's my setup? Wait, let me let me work my setup a little bit. Yay, breakfast at six p.m. <laughs> it's an improvement from last time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I'm gonna have the, you know, the categories in which you're being based judged on, which is aesthetics, aesthetics, design, difficulty, length, and gimmick usage. Okay, okay, wait, wait, before we start the stage, we get, we gotta read the little comment that the guy, that the creator put. Okay, so this was created by GW9. And he says, Mega Man infiltrates an oil rig in the middle of a desert. Take down Bomb Man before he blows up the rig. Easy, medium difficulty. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. Yo, we're officially in, in here. Oh, yo, Glacier Wolf, you are just... All right. So we got booster. Um, I know that everything's supposed to be beatable with booster. I didn't know you also were able. Oh wow. Okay. Oh man, that's just random lag right there. See, Windows just doing some random shit. That's what that was. That's what's making me lag right now. But it should be all fine after Windows does whatever they want to do.
Alright, alright. Uh, you know, I'm playing it safe, playing it slow. We got time. Alright, so we start very fresh, very new, nothing really happens. Just a bunch of the the long tall guys that I'm killing. We charge kicks. Wait, we charge kicks, no, we we charge shots of boots that way. I feel like Oh, I remember this. I played this a little bit. What about playing some from the top and some from the bottom? Oh, that might make... Yeah, that makes sense. I could probably do that. Okay, wow. I think you, you guys know how I told you that I was trying to update the things thinking it was a driver issue that the microphone was not working now I think Windows is in, like trying to install everything so that's why it's kinda lagging it should be done I'm, I'm gonna try to stop it right now Change Mega Maker's priority to real time. Yo, Zombie Judo, yes, I am a judge. Okay, there you go, now it's playing better. Yo, 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 zombie judo, this is traditional levels, dude. Yo, somewhere in something I always question. I mean, you get the you get this item that gives you all all the health, but if you put it right next to a checkpoint, does that really make sense? Because like you can just restart the level and you start with full health, no? Alright, so I'm liking this level in terms of variety. Why? Because first we started just going, you know, flat. We're going just to the right. And then we went a little bit upwards in like an elevator, elevator type of situation. And now we're like on this sky ceiling, trying not to fall under. And I feel like I might die here. Okay, so. Honestly, I thought that the levels could not have any other weapons but booster, but I guess you're still allowed to put any other weapons if you want. Oh man, okay, so... Enemy placement is good in terms of for difficulty. Okay, at least we're not dead yet, we're not dead. Okay, this is like the third checkpoint already. I believe one of the rules. Oh man, oh man. I believe one of the rules is to not have more than four checkpoints. And uh, at least two or something like that. Yo, zombie. I already played it. Yeah, I think I, I played it. I played a couple of your guys' traditional level. But you know, hopefully that will not interfere with my judging capabilities okay so I, I believe it's supposed to be beatable without this, so I don't think I'm supposed to go in there. I'm, I'm still confused about that part. About whether I should be using this or not.
And I'm guessing this is the, the last and final checkpoint, and now we got the boss. Oh man. As you guys might have noticed, I have not played in a while, so I'm kind of rusty. Oh no, the bomb got me. Yo, by the way, yo, Dan the Lazy, welcome to the stream, man. I, I don't think I've seen you around, so welcome. Charge it up, charge it up. Oh man, I was trying to go under. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good. Alright, so I don't know what to expect about about the bosses room though. Are all the bosses gonna be just, you know, your average normal square room without any obstacles? Since it's that traditional level, I'm guessing. Alright, yo, you get my score either way. And, uh, alright, I'm gonna take my time. And write a, a little bit about the stage and what I thought. Okay, so first we got, we got, let me write the name down. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some stuff down just for me. And then later at the end of the stream, I'm gonna put my final thoughts in, into a spreadsheet. And then you're gonna be able to see the score. So I guess it's exciting for you guys that have gotten judged by all the other judges already and then you guys are waiting for mine. Yo, 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 Glacier Wolf, I had, a, I had a question for you. Do you think, do you think your level had a, a gimmick? And if so, what was the gimmick, you know? You're the fourth to last level submission in the traditional category. Oh, okay, so you you would benefit if I do some from the top and then some from the bottom. We'll see about that. Alright, alright, let's put some numbers. Alright, let me read. What does the sign? The sign. The sign in layout, this focuses more on the physical aspect of the level. How is the design platforming wise? Okay. I think I saw some creative platforming going on. I like the latter part. It was kind of weird to have enemies at the bottom as well though. Maybe something else would have fit better. Difficulty, difficulty you said it was easy to medium, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now we can move on to the next one, guys. What else do we have? Alright, now we got 163847. 
We got Hyperstorm H created by Mega Guy TM. Mega Mega Guy TM. There you go. Okay, 13th place score of four. I should come in my thought while I write them down. I will. I mean, I'm trying. This is new to me, guys. Judging for a Mega Man contest, I will only get better as I do every stage, hopefully. Alright. Oh man. Why is it laggy, man? I think it's still the computer doing, trying to do some updates. Is there a way that I can stop the up, the updates? Because I didn't see any button for it. Okay, I feel like that that room could have been a little bit nicer. I feel like the red platforms are just like awkwardly placed in the middle. And the little flying things weren't much of a challenge. Okay, now I like this. You know, a, li a little challenge just to get an extra secret or extra health. Some mo monster manipulation going on so that they all go into the pit. I see, I see. That that jump is kind of tight right there, because you gotta avoid hitting the ceiling too early. You wonder what your gimmick is going to be? Oh, I think I know. I think it has to do with, with you know, water. Water, 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 right? Water is what I need right now. Okay, there's some interesting, you know, design over here. With some spikes at the bottom. Not much danger of falling onto them though, so I don't know. Okay, let's get the health and then we can keep on going. Okay, now we got a different section. Lionheart would close his his chat while playing so that he would focus on the judging. I see, I see. I mean, I, I could try that. How about this? Maybe next stream we can do that, because right now I like already started doing this. Ooh, okay, a little end tank path. Oh, I'm gonna I'm so gonna die. Did I just get a checkpoint? I think I think I did, right? <laughs> nice, I think I'm gonna need that checkpoint. Oh it gets all the way over here. I wanna see where the next shape checkpoint is at to see if they're like well placed.
Hmm, okay, I don't like the fact that this M tank right here, it's like... You know, there's a couple of screens. Before the last checkpoint, it's kind of a hassle to get it. I mean, it is something extra. So it's nice that it's an actual challenge to get it, I guess. Ooh, but then we get a free E tank here, and then we get another checkpoint, okay. And then we have the boss. get this in one try oh man I was about to use the E tank if, if I avoided that one Are you supposed to have booster? I mean booster in... Are you supposed to have... To be able to charge it though? Or is that just up to the creator? Alright, we got the E-Tank right now. I feel like he shouldn't have... Um, Given an E tank easily, if you gave such a hard task to get into get an M tank, because then you know it, it decreases the value of of the little secret room for the M tank. And I don't think someone would need an M tank and an E tank in order to beat the boss. All right, all right. What what was the name of this one? Oh yeah, I forgot to read what the what the guy said, what the creator said. He was like, with the limited tools I have, I managed to recreate a familiar stage in Mega Man, the Willy Wars. Welcome to the next level. Yo. Okay. So we have the name was Hyperstorm H. Okay, so for this one, the the aesthetics, I feel like the combination of the tiles was good. It really gave them like a, like an interesting cave looking place, but full of technology because of the tiles that had like circuits and stuff like that. But I don't think that the design in terms of the platforming was as good or, or at par as the aesthetics. Oh no, there was some awkward placement of things that didn't really even add to the difficulty, so I don't really see why it couldn't have been better.
you know, because if you have things that don't don't add to the difficulty or to the aesthetics, then like, you know, wh why is it there? Then there must be a, a reason for something to be there. Either to give it more difficulty, for it to be more challenging or fun in a way. Length, length was good. I mean, I, I've only played two. I'm assuming the length of these are gonna be slightly similar. Pretty sure it had like three or four checkpoints. I think it had like three. And for the gimmick. I don't know. I still haven't seen any like apparent gimmick. I guess for this one. I, I don't know. I don't see anything that was like like apparent that he was following this gimmick and doing it every time. All right, I'm probably gonna go back. You, you guys, that, that's why I told you guys I'm probably not gonna post the answers till the end, because I'll go back and look at them in, in the editor and to remind my, myself, you know, of how it looked and when I played it and everything, and then adjust my scores at the same time. All right, all right, we can move on to the next one though. Yo, okay, so we got one, five, six, six, nine, seven. Okay, so this one's called Quick Man Stage, but you have come prepared. And his comment on on the thing is Mega Man dives into Quick Man's lair once again, this time to stop a robot from slowing down the entire world using force beams. Alright, alright. And this one this one was created by FSF. Yo, yo, Felipe, I'm not taking any levels today, man. I usually do viewer levels, but not today. Today we're judging. If you don't know about the judgment going on, there's a contest going on where people were able to create levels and now people play them to figure out which one's the better one. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Okay, I didn't realize how many weapons I had. Okay, okay. Some fast action going on over here. I like it, I like it. It's not that, that fast. So it would probably be good for, you know, traditional levels, something that would be in the introduction of a game. Oh, okay, okay, oh wow. Okay, now this is interesting, this one's very different than the other stages that we currently played. See, it's not just killing monsters and platforming anymore. Now we got this time issue. That's also like another big element of the game. All right, we gotta we gotta be pretty quickly here, actually. We also got time slow if we need it, I guess. 
I don't know if we're supposed no, we're not supposed to use it though, because it's supposed to be beatable without time, so you know. Alright, so nice teleportation to the next to the next checkpoint, next area in the in the level. Oh man, I can't charge. Okay, let's look at the Yoko block formation. Alright, not that hard, not that hard. Alright, some platforming, that was nice. Oh, that's... Okay. Then we go, we keep going, we're good. Now we can open up a path through here, get some life, that's nice. Okay, I like, th I like this part. This is creative, I actually haven't seen that much of that in other levels. Okay, so... Hmm... Wait, we can go to the top and then get the E tank. Okay, yeah, okay, so there's, there's like two paths we can take, I believe. Yeah, because those, those are in red laser, so they wouldn't necessarily kill you. Wait, is this... Hmm, I don't even know if that's the way you're supposed to go, actually. Wait, I'm trying to avoid the lasers, because, like, that's gonna take a lot of damage away from me. Let's see, let's see, let's give it a couple tries. No, I mean, I guess that I guess this part is kind of confusing at the same time. Man, wait, let me see. Yeah, it's confusing because if you go under through here, you can also you can still get the E tank. So I don't really know the purpose of like this possible path right here. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, and we're off to the next part. That's nice, that's nice. I, I like the, the separation of the level between checkpoints. Ooh, and this is it. That's it. No boss. Which one? Which, ah. <laughs> what is the true cost? Oh, you seem to have it. I missed the upper path. There was an upper path. In what place was the upper path? Where was the division?
Tun tu ru ru tu run 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 tu And there was a puzzle at the end. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Actually, should I check it out right now? No, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna do that after. I'm gonna check all of them in the editor afterwards. All the ones I played today. Because, you know, right now I'm just getting a fine, clean play, which is something that someone would get. Because, you know, at the end of the day, what we're doing right now is trying to find a level that is worthy of coming integrated with Mega Man Maker. You know, something that a new person is going to play. Maybe someone that has never played Mega Man before. And we're looking for a, a stage that they would enjoy. In terms of aesthetics, the difficulty, the platforming. Definitely in the lens, this one felt a little bit. A little bit too sh too short, but then you also have to take in consideration the fact that some parts you just had to do them faster because of the lasers. So that also has to do with the length of the of the whole stage. Okay, so definitely the gimmick for this one, I think we can say that it was the lasers in the big part. He used it in different sections, but I believe he used them in different ways, so that's good because it didn't get, it didn't really feel repetitive. I didn't really realize that, you know, there was lasers on different parts of the stage because they were used in different manners. All right, that that one looked pretty good so far. Had a couple and couple of things that were above eight. Okay, so what's the next one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, let me let me get the name real quick. Right, so enter ID. Now we got one five five six two four. Alright, so we got a Spring Loaded Cave, created by Saza. A cave that's loaded with springs, not too difficult. Has one section 
with vertical scrolling, I'll take whatsoever score penalty that, that implies. Cool. Okay, at least you're acknowledging it. So I'm guessing the gimmick of this one is gonna be the use of a lot of springs inside a cave. The same what? The same cake. I thought it was more deep than that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, so I'm just thinking of how. Oh, I just realized I needed the monster to get up there. Wow, look at that lag, a crazy lag. Why? I don't understand why, honestly. Here, let me let me close Discord. Free Discord. There you go. Wow. I don't think it was Discord, but I closed it in now. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. I think that Windows update really like I don't know. I don't trust Windows anymore. Huh, wait, 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 okay, so I'm guessing either we're going down or, oh, okay, there you go. Okay, there's nothing here, we're still going down, I guess. Is that the vertical scroll that he was talking about? Okay, so I feel like aesthetics are uh, are all right, you know, not, nothing too crazy. Just using like a like two tile sets. Get okay, some average platforming. Nothing too special going on. I feel like okay, so we can get that health. But I think we're okay. Oh man, the lag, the lag, the lag. Is this a big stage? Is that why it's laggy? Okay, the, okay. so we came up, we went down, Now we're in, then we went to the left, but now we're going up again. Okay. Okay, let's use this ladder to kill these guys. Oh, okay, now I see. Oh, I thought that guy was gonna wake up and like try to hit me. That is weird. That's probably Windows installing shit, and that's why I'm I'm lagging at random times. Okay, now we got to the checkpoint. So we went in a loop. Okay, okay. No way. Really? What the fuck? Wait, how how far away was it? Wait, and did you find it? Like outside? It was inside the hot, like, you go inside and then you put a wall in the apartment. Oh, wow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, well now we're back here and now we go to the right. Okay, I'm gonna have to think more about what to think about that. I guess in a way this is like... Because, you know, I was over there. If I was over there, I'm, I'm literally in the start of the of the, of the the level. But in a way, this is like foreshadowing. I don't know if it's the best use of, of it, though. Because it wasn't that clear. Uh, and now more foreshadowing. Okay, now we're going down. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I remember... There was a little secret that you could get over here, right? Oh, and I fucked up. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, kill this guy first. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. No! Let's see if it's worth it though, you know, once we actually get it. I think the price was just health though. Okay, at least we made it. Then we get this, we get life. I feel like that's not worth it. And I feel like if you're gonna put a little secret like that, it has to be worth it. But like, I'm, I lost life getting there. And now there's an actual price here, there's an E tank, well an M tank, that I think I messed up. Wait, how would you get that M tank? You probably gotta use the the thing that the green thingy shoots. There you go, that was kinda easy actually. I'm, I'm guessing we're going down? No, we're not going down, okay. Hmm. Oh wow, that's a far checkpoint. I mean, in a way, yeah, in a little bit, a little bit far. Wait, is there anything I missed? So we have we have to go to the right over here, and then we have to fall down. And there's nothing else to do. Is there any Yoku blocks? Is, is that is that what I'm missing? Oh damn, last time it was definitely easier. Because of the lag, that's why. I'm gonna have to take that into consideration when I'm like thinking about the difficulty of the level. But I still don't understand where I would go. Do I have to jump on the bullet and then on him? Dude. Okay, now I'm just kind of lost as to where I'm supposed to go. So, I mean, we came through there. Is there anything here? I mean, that's just where we came from, right? Hmm. Damn, now I'm just confused with the whole map. Did I miss? No, so I, I came from here, from inside. Yeah, there... Yeah, we passed through the beginning where the E-Tank was. 
I remember this one as well. Yeah, and that's where we came from. So there's nothing here. There should be nothing there. Okay, okay. We're gonna try again to go to this side. We're gonna try to be more careful, maybe in... in Oh, oh, I just realized what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the yellow elevator back all the way to the top and then you can cross. Okay, well that took me a little bit to figure out. I see what the problem is though. So, you know, that E-Tank room with the little cannon that shoots at you, it's supposed to be like a dead end, but the thing is that that's not clear enough. Because, you know, I came down, down here thinking that this is the way to go, and the yellow platform was just there in, in case I wanted to go up to get the little secret at the left. So honestly, I, I thought that the path was to keep going down to the right. But no, this is what you do. You come here and then you jump and then you cross this little bridge thingy going on. I guess that's kind of like the gimmick of the level, like foreshadowing where you're gonna end up in. Okay, the first foreshadowing really is kind of big though, because you go all around in a loop and this one's just, you go down and then you go up. I don't know why the, why the light is being so random, dude. And now we got a cut man with a bunch of springs on it, okay. Okay, is the guy not gonna move? He's gonna stay there forever? I'm fine with that. Uh, but I mean at the same time, then... Maybe that's the problem of, I cre of the creator. He made the boss kinda simple, you know? Is he supposed to move and jump around? Cause he's not doing it. There you go. I guess I guess in a way it's my fault that I, did, that I didn't get close to him enough. Because you know sometimes you can make the bosses do cool things if you add springs to the level. But you know the, I don't think the experience of the boss is getting really enhanced over here with the springs. It's just a little bit different. There you go. Alright, 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 so I got a couple things to write about the level. Nice, so we had Spring Loaded Cave. It wasn't that loaded as I expected from the name. I feel like the vertical scrolling that he mentioned wasn't really that much of a big deal either. I don't think that's what they meant by the useless scrolling. That was more like just falling down like two, three rooms. I don't think that was that big of a deal. Spring Lord Cave. One, five, five, six, two, four.
I feel like the, the creator should say what the gimmick is. Like state it in a way. If it's that important, because you know, how are you supposed to judge something that you don't know? You don't know what you're judging, right? <laughs> Okay, in terms of gimmick, in terms of the springs, I don't think I really saw anything, you know, extra fancy or unique gameplay coming from the springs. It was mostly just bouncing around, just plat just like normal platforming, but with springs. Because, you know, you can do some cool things with springs, like... I've seen other levels where you gotta do some... Some tight jumps in a way... That wouldn't be possible without the spring. But then here, a lot of them... A lot, a lot of the platforms were placed together, so that you would be able to do the jump even if the spring was not there. The foreshadowing though, that I kind of like that instead. At the same time, I don't think he executed that the best way he could, because with all the loop and the weird map going around itself, that, that, I think that was just more confusing than anything. There's not a clear, clear path. Okay, okay. The length, I guess I'm gonna take, uh, when I'm talking about length, I, I guess I'm gonna take in consideration the placement of the checkpoints as well. I don't think this stage particularly excelled a nice placement of the checkpoints. Probably most of the difficulty came from having, you know, some weird jumps with a with monster shooting at you and then you would have fallen, especially at the bottom area. Okay, in terms of aesthetics, aesthetics, I mean in a way, you know, he, he, he kept a very minimalist, he didn't use that many tiles, so at least he, he didn't sa saturate it with a, bunch of, with a bunch of random colors. In terms of aesthetics, it was not, it was not the worst, but it was not the best either. I, I think, I don't know if this makes sense in a way, but I think it had too much negative space. And what I try to mean by that is that it was lacking more tiles to fill in rent, to fill in empty space. That's clever. What? So, if the boss is wife, right? He like uh, surprised her somewhere, and then he's playing his guitar with the pick and he made the tennis solid, or he like dropped it inside the guitar. 
and he went to oh get it out yeah that's so he, cool he got, the wedding ring <laughs> out of the guitar and then, like wait did he do it in, in the game right now no, like that's in the book. oh okay i thought it happened like in the game <laughs> Okay, okay, I think I, I, I think I wrote a good amount. Afterwards I'm gonna take all my notes and you know put them in that, that nice little paragraph that everyone's doing. In a way in a way pretty much is like explaining my judging and my scores. Okay, so now we have... What do we have now? Good man, spring loaded cave. And we got 155733. Okay, so we got, yo, Robo Jungle is massive. Yeah, yeah. Created by V Sun. I don't know how you pronounce that. Something something V Sun. And he says Torment has captured the jungle area and it is up to you to serve him justice. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, we got RC. I know RC you can actually use. Oh, there's actually something to the left. Okay. Did we find a little secret path? A little secret area going on? Okay. Just some time. Oh, this. Okay, okay, that's nice. See? It's a secret that's worth finding because he has a prize, he has a reward. And then we didn't really seem to miss to miss anything. Oh and oh I see, I see. And it, it was that that was actually pretty good because you know you wouldn't have missed it completely. You would have been here if you would have gone to the right at the same time. You come here and you're like, oh, there's something else that I'm missing. At that point, you know, your average your average player, if they want to find a secret, I feel like they would know that there might be something right when they started. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. Nice use of the background with the green tiles. Oh man, oh man, and connecting it with the, with the little snake head thingies that shoot at you. The color of the trees as in the trunk also matches with the other tile set that he used. I mean the, the rock looking one. Oh man that one keeps getting me. <laughs> whoop! Whoop whoop! Okay, which one's the one that keeps getting me? This one, right here. Let's kill it first, there you go. Ooh, I see there's a ladder up there. See, I, I like stuff like that, because a, a little hint that there's something going on. Something extra that you could find, but... I don't think it's from here. Hmm, see, now, now I feel like I'm missing something, because that ladder up there... Maybe I did miss something. Okay, this is a nice transition. I see we're going like inside into a cave. We have water. We have like lava looking things at the in the background.
Okay, so in, in terms of aesthetics, this, this level is looking pretty good. And then another transition from the cave into waterfall. Still using the same tile of the rock. I feel like this this could have maybe this part could have gained something from using some other tile, you know, to decorate it a little bit more. But that's all subjective, though. At the at the end of the day, all the aesthetics. I mean, not all of them, but. Like how in terms of how many colors you use and stuff like that. Alright. Right, so we're back with the same tile set, but now we're in a different background, a little bit of water. It gives a different environment with like the same tools. I'm also liking, yeah. I think, I think I'm working, I really liking this level. I also like the amount of enemies that they are. I think they're, you know, well put together, spread out through the map. Oh, okay. Oh no, I missed the E tank. That was nice though. I had a chance to get an E tank to get a little reward, but I messed it up at the end. Now we have a checkpoint, checkpoint area. Oh, we ha okay, we have an interesting boss fight going on over here. Uh oh, oh man. I am so dead. Oh, not yet, not yet. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Okay, now, about the boss rooms being, you know, more, having more gimmicks, or just being a plain old square, I don't know what to think about that, I, I'm gonna I'm have to, you know, I guess if they do add a gimmick to the boss room, I just gotta see if it's worth it, like the one where we played and, and it was just full of springs, it didn't really add that much to the experience of playing, of beating the boss, you know, but this one, you know, you, you, you step on the bombs and then you can no longer step there. Oh man, apparently I like stepping on all of them. No. Yo, that move works all the time though. Ah, yes. Alright, can I get him? No man, I had to slide. That was my move. Alright, we're gonna start spamming. Oh well that did not work. No, oh, that was not good. Man, he's really getting me. What else I can do? I, d I don't see much else I can do. Because of the bombs, you know, it's kind of restraining. Oh, come on. He went for it. Alright, there you go. That's much better. There you go, there you go. That was the key. Just be sliding on the... on the under platform. 
I didn't realize until afterwards that I wouldn't fall even if the bombs were not there. Okay, okay, yo, by the way, don't think anything if I do give them a score up or not. I, I, I'm just planning to give all of them score up. I think I didn't give you the last one though, but that's just because I forgot. Alright, so this one wants Robo Jungle is massive. Massive. One, five, seven, two, three. Created created by V Son TH. I right, so this one might be getting my it might it might get a couple of nines, you know. I like several aspects of it. Okay, so aesthetics definitely up there, you know. Definitely probably gonna give him more than an eight. I'm still deciding how how much more though. Right, so right now I'm just, I'm just talking about you know how he went from being outside into the cave, then the waterfall section. No, that's all nice because it's giving the player more ex different experiences in one single stage. And then we got the design layout, the platforming. There, there was some nice parts, especially. In the the sec the secret was good. I got I gotta note that down. The secret secret e tank is well done. And the time the time bumps were also something I liked. In terms of difficulty, I would say I, I would say this one in terms of difficulty for you know a stage that would be inside uh, as an example level in Mega Man Maker. I, I think this one was pretty good, definitely like around the nine because you know there was some like optional areas like the secret area that that kind of you can say that was harder, but it was optional at the same time. Good, good amount of monsters In, inside each room. For the most part, there was some rooms that were kind of like iffy and maybe too much, too too many bombs as well. But for the most part, it, it was pretty good. And that's what I feel like that's always in you know a hard thing to to gauge like how many monsters should you put in and where should you put them.
I was thinking, I feel, I feel like, you know, the length was just, just, was just as the same amount as the others, so it was good. But then maybe the, the fact that the boss was harder and definitely would take longer than your average boss would make the level longer. So you, you, you gotta think about that, that as well. If you're trying to keep your level to be beatable within like a certain amount of time, you gotta think about if you make the boss harder, then that, that, that's gonna definitely add some depth and possibly more time to that. Now gimmicks, gimmicks, what could I say was a gimmick in this level? I think that the time bombs... I didn't see anything like, you know, partic particularly unique about any gimmicks being used. Perhaps when I go over again in the editor I can notice something more. But for now, I think the time bombs was the most repetitive. Well, not repetitive, like, you know, the gimmick being used. But nothing that special being done with them, though. Alright, for the most part, that level got very, very nice scores, though. Alright, how many levels have we judged? Alright, we got one, we got two, three. Four, five. All right, all right. I think we can do like two more. I think we, we can do like two more. There's gonna be like seven. That's a nice start. Maybe one, one or two more. I think I don't remember what. What? Uh, no, the red said, but I think there was like forty to fifty, or like thirty. I like a around like 30 to 50 traditional levels so six six or seven would be a nice for you to to space them out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so now we got one, five, eight, three, five, seven. Second life making his way to the boss. Okay, okay. This was created by Lethion. And what does he say about his own level? The first Mega Man got to the boss and died. Now it's up to the second life to get to the boss. The path is clear of enemies. But there is still many dangers ahead. <sighs> alright, alright. I mean, getting sleepy or hungry, one of those two. Uh oh. I'm definitely oh I'm definitely liking the layout a lot. The the aesthetics are very nice, but I also feel like the setup with that background is, is used often a lot. But I mean it's just no one no it's oh my god I can't believe I died at the same place. It's knowing how to play with the tools you have, you know, if you can use less and still get a nice effect. I think that's good. Ooh, okay. So, some tight jumping. You know, there's no enemies, so there has to be difficulty coming from other places. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Man, that was so bad. I might damage boost through those. Alright, nice, we got it. No, 
Okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was not on purpose, but it but it happened either way. Okay. Oh no, I stepped on it. This level is weird. He has no enemies. He does not, man. But he has other things like those little fire thingies and spikes with low ceilings like this one. Oh wow okay I think sliding is the way to go there you go Okay, we got it, we got we got it without damage boosting, just so you guys know I can do it. Okay, that's simple, that's nice. And we get to the first checkpoint. I, I think that was pretty reasonable checkpoint. It might have looked that it was that it happened too quickly, but because of the difficulty of some of the jumps I think it, it's good. That's nice, that's nice as well. Hmm. I'm guessing the top platform might have something special, you know. Ouch. But it didn't. There was nothing. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong time to do it. Fuck. <laughs> that was nice though. That, that looks nice in terms of aesthetics and it's a little challenging thing that's gonna take so much of your life away oh wow I did not even know you could do that you still have like one gap left in order to step on it oh okay that's cool that's cool oh I failed either way because I had to also get the other one right It's so nice. I like the fact that the the red platforms don't you know don't keep going until they leave the screen. They leave you where they're supposed to leave you. <laughs> oh, I fucked up, didn't I? Oh, I still saved it though. Okay, that one was kind of weird though, I guess I had to do the, I guess it makes sense that I had to do the jump from the other yellow platform, but then I was like, maybe I have to step when the fire's not there, but then I realized I wouldn't be able to make the jump from there. Uh oh. Oh, we got the boss already, ooh, nice setup with the boss, believe me. Where he's supposed to leave me and still giving me the effect where I come into the stage right in the middle. Into the room. Oh man, okay, I needed to reset anyway. Okay, that part is kind of obnoxious because I don't know if that's possible to do without getting hurt. I mean, it's probably possible, but... Oh, come on. Okay, wow. He is destroying me. Wow, okay. Yeah, but you see, the other level had all the floor with literally spikes, and it didn't really add anything to it. But then this one, it only has, t I mean, springs. This one only has two springs, but then, but then it adds like a whole new element to the boss. Uh 
Alright, I think that, that that was a decent boss, you know. I just added a little bit of spiciness by throwing the, the two springs in there. I think it completely changes the boss instead of it just being, oh, you're, fight you're fighting Flatman and that's it. No, it has two springs in the middle. And sometimes he bounces and changes how his AI responds to you and shit. Ugh. Okay. Alright guys, let's write write up the report for this one, since that's what this is. It's like I'm doing homework right here, pretty much. Aesthetics. Now the design, in terms of platforming, this is, I think, where um, this level is gonna do the best in the in the platforming and all the um, little intricacies that that he actually took care of. Like at the end, when you went into the boss room, you know, he had a little platform to take you exactly where you were supposed to be, and then just very good use. Of those platforms, not doing anything crazy that would be like, what the what the hell is the is the level doing? You know, might have been a little bit too much of the fire things at, at some points, but I guess for at the same time the fire things, you know, for the people that would have big trouble getting through the through the tight ceiling platforming, they could just damage boost through it. So at the same time that's good in that in that sense. I feel like for, you know, for a new person playing that though, those tight jumps might backfire, but I feel like most of them were, were in the very beginning, so I guess that's good. I, he might have thought about that, you know, he put the hard stuff in the beginning, and then, um, oh, in terms of length, yeah, definitely the, the checkpoints were nice. Seems like you know the creator thought about how difficult the level was when he is, when he chose where to put the checkpoints. Okay, what else, what else, and the gimmick, the gimmick, the fire. Wait, so it's dark faded, but it's 
Yes, it's Bunny. Darth Vader is his father. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be spoiling it to you. You haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I also I also gotta remember for this stage that you know there was no must there was no monsters, right? So in a way having no monsters was his gimmick. And that's why he had to complement it with a lot of the fire things and the, the and the tight jumps. So you know that kinda like excuses why there should be tight jumps in the level. Did he get my score? There's my score. There you go. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Mm hmm, hmm. Everything is gonna be Oh, wait, well, I'm just writing something more about the previous stage. My remote, my remote. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, what's the next one? We got, we got, we got one, five, five, nine, three, nine. Oh no, oh no, what happened? That had not happened today. Wait, I put I put the wrong number, my bad. And their ID Wait, you know what? Let me restart Mega Maker real quick. I know it's a little bit laggy. Shouldn't be unless Windows still updating shit. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, alright, yo, so we got Time Fortress created by Fake Virus. And he says, Time Man wants to corrupt the fabric of time to make Willy win from the beginning. Light sends Mega Man, quote, I mean parentheses, with weapons Skull Cycle allow Mega Man to use, out to the Time Fortress to stop Time Man's plans once and for all. Alright, yo, let's play the level. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Many weapons. There's nothing to the left. Okay. And. Okay. Oh, I can't charge. Come on. Oh, I see. We got the, the Starry Night look. I mean, not, not Starry Night, but you know, there's stars in the background. In the black background and the purple tiles with a little bit of windows man I don't understand why this what this is laggy it's not supposed to be laggy Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 
Alright, so you know, good plays hot dog, he makes you jump, he makes you ask for some skill. A, a lot of rooms without enemies, that's what I'm noticing. And that one I literally just killed just like that. Ooh. I see the difficulty from this level definitely comes from trying to kill the hot dogs. No drop, no drop. Or at least I think so. I feel like that conveyor belts are like kinda unnecessary here. You know, in a, in a way they're just making you go slower. More than my lag is, you know? Oh wow, but we still have not seen a checkpoint though, and we have already covered a good amount of rooms. Not that many monsters, but a good amount of rooms. There's the checkpoint. Yeah, I, I think I think this level has two things going on that, that are kind of like trying to achieve opposite things, and that's why it's not working. No, it's it's very uh, a lot of rooms. It's a very open, a lot of walking, without much purpose. And the thing is that there isn't purpose because there isn't any enemies to kill either. Man, freaking windows, man. Keeps installing shit. Okay, well at least here you can fall. There's a risk of falling. Oh, one of these guys. There you go. We have defeated the gatekeeper. Or whatever they're called. Oh man, when he uses slow, it's gonna be actually so slow though. There it is, there it is. Oh no. Oh, I still hit the top one. Oh 
Okay, come on, come on. Oh no, no E tank. I am so dead. Do any of these weapons do anything? Oh, the butt head though. What the hell? I, I didn't know he would shoot two quick ones in a row. Hey, you saw that? I did not know he would do that. I thought he would only... He would always like... You know... Like... Yeah. Exchange or change the one that, that he threw. The slow one and then the the fast one. Hey, what's the word that I'm looking for? Should we try other weapons? Why not? Why not? Oh man, getting destroyed already. Okay, we gotta finish it up with the booster though. Unless we die as well, that's gonna suck. Nah, 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 we can't die, there you go. And boom. Yo, that's it. Okay, man, I think this level, I don't know, man, I don't know about this level. Okay, time for dress. The thing is that... Did it did it look like a fortress? Was it supposed to look like a fortress, like a castle type of thing? I mean, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> Created by fake virus. One five five nine three nine. Okay, okay, so I think a problem with this stage was that he was using the the platforms the platform positioning for aesthetic purposes, meaning how he was like putting a bunch of platforms that in a way looked technically nice because they were going down, down, down and up and finding themselves in a little mountain type of thing. But all of that spacing out didn't really help you know, the actual gameplay of the level. I should be writing that down, actually, that makes a lot of sense. So, I guess in terms of aesthetics, not, not as bad as in terms of the actual platforming gameplay.
Iowa. So in terms of the design, the platforming was kind of weird. So definitely not getting the best score on that one either. Damn, I don't want to be that harsh, but like, I think I'm giving some pretty low numbers here. So too many rooms, no monsters, no purpose. <laughs> you know, a, a, a lot of walking, but no purpose in walking. Because there was nothing to kill either. And the actual platforming wasn't that challenging. I guess the little good design that did come from is like the positioning of the hot dogs in the beginning. But I can't think of much else that was like, you know, something that deserves little brownie points on top of everything. Difficulty. I mean, I feel like, again, it wasn't that, that difficult. But then again, it was because it was just kind of... To nothing to do. I feel like the problem of this level is that there was not much to do. It was just like walking around. For the most part. There was parts where you had to put a little bit of skill. Like when you were supposed to kill the hot dog and the boss. But then the boss, you know, he didn't really put that much effort into that. You just put the boss inside a square room and that's it. Dun 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 length length. The length I think was also you know too long because of all the rooms that felt empty. I don't think I don't think if you were to count the amount of rooms compared to other stages, there might not be that much of a difference. But the fact that it was too empty probably just felt made it feel too long. And the gimmick, I mean, I guess the gimmick, again, it was the conveyor belts. And again, I didn't really like the use of them. I didn't think they were used for any purpose again, because they were just put together, basically just slowing you down. When he used them, for the most part, there, there was no danger of falling anywhere. Perhaps we got like one enemy that would spawn on top of the conveyor belts as well, but they were very, very easy to kill. You know, so I mean, I guess in a way, the level was nice for like a very a very beginner player that was just strolling around. So maybe in that sense, it's good. We'll have to think about it more. I'll, I'll look at, at the whole map again and, and, and decide in terms of difficulty whether that was good. In terms of the gimmick though, I don't think the gimmick was well used. And, and, and right now I'm just talking about the conveyor belts. Because I don't see what else I would be like, oh that's the gimmick, you know. That's the concept that he's trying to keep on repeating.
All right, guys. I think I think this is gonna be it. Just writing the the last final words on this level. I think we we did six. Wait, wait, let, let me just write something to finish it off. So we, we did one, two, three, four. Wait, fuck, I lost right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We did seven levels. I think that's good, guys. So that's gonna be all for today. Thank you for coming, guys. Whoever came, Fabian, Mega Yagami, Zombie Yudo, Felipe, Dan the Lazy, Glacier, Glacier Wolf. Thank you. You were the first one to have their levels played. Chill Styler Alright guys that that's it for today Bye bye Oh what's my screen oh wait never mind Never mind it was all good Fussy mustard, you just got here. You missed the stream, dude. It's, it's over now, man. I've been judging. I've been judging contest levels. Alright guys, I gotta go. Fuzzy Mustard, I'll see you next time, dude. Maybe next time you can catch the stream. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna... Probably gonna continue judging this weekend. We'll see about that though. Alright, alright, how do I stop this again? From here, there you go. Uh, yo, yo, Fuzzy Mustard, either way man, thank you for coming.